Welcome to the Shrine of Power or Strength or whatever the heck the game is going to call it. This The whole premise of this dungeon is it's supposed to be like a Grand Renaissance Fair tournament. Um, right here we could either buy a small little bell, a uh, flowers, or this red ribbon. The red ribbon has, uh, has, a, has a history beyond value, which is why it costs $50. And I'm going to buy it. Come again. You deserve because if you don't buy things. that, you actually can't even access a mini-boss. This dungeon is very, very odd with its requirements. But uh, mm. beyond that, uh, I'm no fooling. This is already going to be the finale of Zelda's Adventure. We're already down to, like, two dungeons left. Logan, wow. you lied. You said we were going to the, going to the uh, Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Hello, young one. You look like a friendly face. I honestly would love that, actually. Uh, honestly, uh, like all I'm missing is freaking um, what's-his-face as a giant stone head talking to me about the adventures I'm about to go on. <laughs> that sounds like a role that could be served by the Great Deku Tree. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that would work. No matter. You look like if the Great Deku like Tree was voiced by Dee uh -oh. Bradley Baker. I mean, it can work. So that dude there is a pickpocket. And uh, that that was set up to be a trap where you would talk to her and just wait, and he would grab you, and because this woman's literally talking your ear off. Um, it's weird. This dungeon has people living in it, like they just hang out. It's like it's not even an actual dungeon. We're just literally we're literally at some carnival that's literally run down to all get out. Oh yeah. So you talk to her, and she gives you the compass. If a pickpocket touches you, you'll lose twenty five rupees immediately. So don't let that happen. You can't fight them. And uh, the ruler of this of this fair is this. I was gonna say, do we have pickpockets in Oink to the Past too? Uh, actually, yes, in the Lost Woods. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, as we're hearing now. Oh. Please, miss, I'm so thirsty. Would you draw me some water? Oh sure, realistic child. Um, <laughs> but the the problem that we're facing is uh, this whole land is ruled over a by a bear house? warlord named Ursor. Ursor. Yeah. Also, she's well. gonna. Also, this kid's gonna give us a gold necklace that has a lot of history to it. That I don't know what the hell it means, but just know Welcome that we need that to fight a mini boss I've later in the next dungeon. <laughs> if you're low on rubies, because you actually are gonna have to buy your way into some of these mini boss rooms, because it's like a county fair, uh, this little archery game will give you uh, about 130 rubies if we do it correctly. I mean, so. I'll give this game credit. Like, I can't think of a single Zelda game worth its salt. That actually tried to have a more contemporary setting as its dungeon. Mm -hmm. I mean, heck, I still think back to uh, It'll Do 2, which actually had a couple of dungeons which were based off of, like... There's one dungeon that literally takes place in some dude's, dude's basement, for example. Or one that takes <laughs> oh, place in a sandcastle. Or at the very, actually, first, the very first dungeon that literally was, takes place in a pillow fort. The, the, closest thing, the closest one I can think of was Snow Peak Ruins from Twilight Princess. Wasn't, right, it, just wasn't that just an house. abandoned mansion? Hello. Yeah, it's the house. It wasn't abandoned, but it, it there were inhabitants actually living in it. But they were just two weird yetis. And they were cute yetis. They were. But in any case, uh, wait, so what was that game, uh, James? Evil Do 2? It'll, it'll do. It'll do. I, oh, it'll, I oh, it'll do 2. Oh, did right, we do, it'll did do. Did we do yeah, a look no. at or a commentary of that? Uh, uh, we did look at, I did a look at of uh, both games. It was, yeah, it was very cute. It was wacky, and it's made by the people who now have gone on to make Nicktoons. Uh, yes, the, uh, the, Smash the, the, the totally, yeah, the, the, the not Smash Brothers. That still, yep. still doesn't have it's XJ9 yet. It's such a cute title, yet. it'll do. They're working on it, they're working there on it. There you ride oh, in the joust against the Red Knight. So we have to use the joust so in this, ba in this, in this boss battle the against the Red Knight. Man, that guy looks massive. He looks massive, ribbon, and I so swear he doesn't look... Behold! <gasps> Hold tight, little enemy. You have something stolen from me, and I am strong. <laughs> Just that delivery, I am strong. You're welcome, Logan. I know how much how much you pride yourself in that performance. I just I love that. I love that you just cut off like, and it gets even better as we go in. And Ursor's like, you beat him. Also, these are supposed to be uh, also these are supposed to be iron knuckles, uh, or huh. dark nuts or whatever. They're, they're just they're just big and again they're tanky. Just, just those are the scruff stun. those are the scruffiest dark nuts I've ever seen. Yeah, no real armor on. Also, them. wait, the the boss's name is Ursor, and he's a, a yes. bear, he's a bear. Correct. Man, I was hoping I was hoping we we this dungeon would be hosted by the Grizz. <laughs> oh. All Man, I you'll... really want to do is escape. escape. That's right. Is that, is that, was that so wrong? I, I love how completely out of nowhere that plot twist comes, and it only serves to 
it, it only serves to make his boss battle a little wacky. Yeah. No, 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 no. It, it, okay. okay. You know why I love skiing? It's clean, man. Stay tuned. We will be doing that game. Yes, and we honestly, will. Honestly, like, too much as, fun with it. as stupid as that is, that's no, that sense of stupidity is probably why he's one of my favorite bosses in the game. All the portrayal of it, he has a great, he's a fun personality. I mean, to him. if you if you borrow the fact that he kind of just is a uh, a poor man's Dimitri in terms of his overall background, yeah, he does yes. have some pretty fun moments. Well, my the, thing the is acting, that like the acting chops are fun. Like, I think the only difference between Grizz and Dimitri is that like Dimitri was actively trying to like make it into the art world. Grizz just kind of like accidentally stumbled into it. Pretty yeah, much. It turns out he's actually doing well and dodged the pickpocket in time to use the broadsword. A thin waif like thee? Ha! Can you even lift a broadsword? <laughs> well, I'm doing better yes. than you are. <laughs> I chucked them. I am Zelda, beefiest of princesses. I'm oh, Zelda, bitch. Wait. Quite my brother. This I must test. Oh You're God. dead. <laughs> it's amazing you can talk even after being blown up. You're already dead, sir. Don't remind me," said his corpse. <laughs> you know, it was worth going through the going through the rest of this game, this slog of the game just for all this. It gets wacky, and trust me, the game gets utterly broken by the end. So, uh, yep. Beyond that, uh, the other thing we got at the very start of this uh, dungeon was we got a big old club known as the Roar Stick. For the time being, it does the most amount of damage to things. So, uh, let's find that. Here you are. A big stick. <laughs> uh, sure, it looks like, sure, sure, it looks like you're throwing a really thick piece of meat at someone, but eh, well. Jeez. Mm. Man, now, man, now I'm just, now I'm just, now I'm just, now I'm just thinking of, st of stupid shit if, like, you know, if this really was, like, if, or, or whatever this, that guy, this guy's name is, the, the guy that runs this place, just. Or sorry. Ursor, if he literally was just a straight, just straight up like the Grizz, he'd be like, um, oh, speaking of Ursor, oh, there he the is. Fuck, he looks like a giant chipmunk. And it, it looks does like it kind of does. It looks like a com like it looks like a combination of a chick chipmunk and a bulldog. Okay, now like he, and before it, he dies, like I'm just before he dies, I'm just yeah. thinking to myself, boy, that Zelda sure stinker. I'd love to really give her one in the thinker. Ouch. Otherwise, no, no, don't worry. This guy, he's actually the tankiest boss in the game, so we got a little bit of time. Well, he is a bear. Well, that's why we're using it. And, it. and it's the shrine of strength, so it makes sense. But yeah, that's also why I'm using the roar stick to do more damage. And uh, from the side, it moves, looks. He... Go ahead. From the side perspective, it looks like he's wearing shoes. It, it kind of does. does. He, he, he moves as though these guys have never seen how a bear walks. Anyway, don't judge me. I like how heels. No, those now weren't the we shoes the I was last... thinking, but sure. They kind of look like high heels to me, to be fair. Stone. Or, or high heel sandals, rather. Anyway. Yay! The next stone is ours. Yes, Zelda, I hated his rhyming scheme, too. Zelda, I'm sorry you had to see that. That was not age appropriate for you. I will do better to find you a more safer work quest in the future. Assuming this guy even has a job after all said and done. Either that, or please wait up to seven years, and then... I don't know. All right, now with that, it's time to head all the way back to the west, where we can, uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna show off a stupid little side quest that does no... That, that, that does us no good besides uh, me uh, showing off a little mechanic of this game. After using that compass to warp back to the Shrine of Illusion, because, yes, I was gonna show off that, I can give this piece of coal to the smith. Okay. Congratulations on finding such a fine piece of coal. After windish taxes, my conversion, of course. <laughs> that leaves, um... It leaves about this many rupees for me to acquire. Huh. That's... Whoa. Wow, that is a lot of ru Dang. rupees. Dang! Can I go full? Can I go full 999? Yeah. There it is. Yay! Oh, wow, it, it does go, go up to max. It maxes out. And, uh, yeah. So, from here, I was like, that's incredible. All Reminds right, me I'm of that. Loaded. <clears throat> Reminds me of when the running man would pay you for the bunny hood not great at time. He paid you a crazy amount of money, more money than you can count. Yep. But remember, so you that... still gotta pay you still gotta give the money back to the happy vest salesman. Oh, so here we go. Check this out. There's just, an Easter just 50 egg rupees game. of it. If you go to this screen and hold a diamond and hold down the action button, 
guess what you will see? Uh, uh, Azo- uh Azola? Oh. Radical, dude, totally. What the oh. fuck? Oh. <laughs> just your ran- just, just, uh, just totally not Alucard no, on his totally not what the hell? vampire state board. So supposedly what yes, that, that was, Yes, that was a reach, gentlemen. <laughs> So what that was supposedly Sealy, by the way, we're heading off to fire to the not fire mountain. What that was is apparently the community has nicknamed him Food Dude, Food and Dude. so what his whole thing was, I guess the developers of this game were trying to make their own kind of like not Paperboy inspired game, but then this game came out and it blew like absolute chunks. Oh, Jeez, these things take so a they lot just of didn't age. have the, they just have didn't have the budget to make what they really wanted. Nope. And for all this time... Also, on this screen, this one guy takes like 17 hits. I don't get it. It's the weirdest thing. And this is the part where it's like, Zelda, d- you're bigger than him. Just just let it go. You can squash him. <laughs> Let's go to the Shrine of Fire. Welcome to the final dungeon. Your commitment to your quest is tested here with I mean, it's pretty much a ho- homage to the Only first Zelda game. To rescue Link and yep. Save here, the, the ruthless dragon Warbane bad. rules over all of the forges of this land. Dun, 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 God, dun. it's so hot. Dun, 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 dun. Be gone. Oh my I God, I just remembered. My work also, no watch for. Zelda take the life of another man. Uh. Oh. Well, hasn't she done that before in this game? I mean, we've killed. I mean, we've killed. Like, oh, that's right. We did do that with the Joust. James Logan, we gotta really continue uh, our playthrough of Four Swords Adventures. I know. We gotta practice all that. And uh, Triforce we, Heroes. That too. And Triforce Heroes. Also, Crocker Myers. They call these things. I swear Crocker to God, Myers? these are called Crocker oh, Myers. They don't melt away though, so it's a little they bit don't of a melt away into a horrifying pile of bones that somehow so... tries to get revenge on Samus at the very last minute. It's and so that sound... that is that is shit. Go ahead. They sound like they sound like out of tune guitars when you hit them. <laughs> they actually do kind of sound like that. Holy crap! And the Crocodile thing is like one of the most like uncharac. It's it's like it's like when after you fight uh, Argus or whatever his name was from uh, Targus or whatever his name was from uh, Metroid Prime. It's like. It's like in the sense of when the stone hits Samus is on Samus on the helmet, ding. or when ding, and or, and with Crocomar's bones, it's like it's so there's there are times when Metroid is sometimes uncharacteristically funny. Yeah, or or, or or scary in that case where he did try to you know jump at you at the last minute when when he's already True. dead. Oh. Further you what? will not go. You have not the fire. That's Warbane. But obey me. What a I, what I, a skinny freaking dragon. And he dropped a and, hammer. And because he is literally voted the worst boss of the game, he actually just gave us for free the best weapon in this game. Really? Just a big hammer you throw at people. It costs like two rubies, and it does like five times as much damage as a single wand throw. Well, well we're I mean... at max rupees, so I don't think oh, yeah, it's so... going to put a big dent. So while we fight these dog bear things... That's just orcs. That's Dead. just that's just or- Urs, whatever the bear guy. It, it, is. Did, it did. It did look like Ursor a bit. It kind of. Uh, I don't get that actually. I don't know what the hell this thing's supposed to be, but uh, it was almost all dead. But uh, anyway, I'm losing my steam a bit. I don't know, folks. Again, I do. I do. I think this game has any merit to it? Not really. I mean, yeah. There's absolutely a spectacle to it. I love hearing James's like being stopped in his tracks audio of like what the hell kind of is going on here i what's, love those reactions just, what, what sort of yeah just what sort of sp- uh, pre-rendered puke am i looking at here i feel like this, ty- this type of metal should not exist in hyrule yeah no. this is just straight up process steel anyway oh so up ahead is a knight that for whatever reason he's the knight that used to own that the necklace that the kid at the well gave us so it's the only way to destroy him and with this i'm gonna have to be careful because up ahead is the boss against warbane voted the least efficient boss out of all of tolemac so here's how the method's gonna go we're going to want to make sure yeah i'm full in health so we're gonna want to make sure to equip the hammer and here we go game time baby the sign is rightly my own no slip of a girl can take me mine only I have fire in my heart to keep it Okay. That was the boss of Warbane, least efficient boss of all of Tolomech. <laughs> he just place. leaves the fucking door open for you to take take his prize away. <laughs> the door is technically locked, also Ganon. <gasps> oh boy. <gasps> so the door So the door is locked, James, but the developers left the hitbox of the door's entrance 
way wider than it was supposed to be. Oh. So you can just walk into that wall and trigger. <laughs> Time for a Mega Man boss rush. I'm sorry, oh, that, just the animation. That was that was the weirdest Lord, fall my I've friend. ever seen. Do not come in here. He's dead. Oh boy. And that is not a fairy. That is Ganon in disguise. I was gonna say, what the oh. hell was that? That ain't no fairy. So yeah, basically, again, it's it's gonna be a Mega Man esque boss rush where we have to fight all of our our old friends. Of all the but things, they're all pathetic. Of, of everything the a Zelda CDI game needs, it's a fucking boss rush. But they're all pathetic. Like, that was Pasquinade. Well, actually, Here's no, wait, Aviana. Wait, actually, wait, what am I that saying? That was the, Aviana. The other, the other two Zelda games already tried to, uh, already tried to make I mean, fight the every you can, boss twice. You can compare them right. to how broken light arrows are in Wind Waker. Malmore just turns into a bunch of bugs for whatever reason. Well, they just give you, it that. showers you with health. Like, it just showers you with health. Like, this, this boss gun I mean, is not that hard. I mean, tell me you don't agree that light arrows in Wind Waker are really broken. I mean, no, I mean I'll, I'll take your word on that. Oh, there's a Gwanda. I mean, I, actually, no, what am I saying? Yeah, they totally were. So then after Gwanda came everyone's favorite bear, the leader of the Shrine of Strength. I said it came after everyone's favorite leader of the Shrine of Strength, Warbane, because they skipped over Ursor for whatever reason. Okay. I mean, there he, we go. He, he did look kind of freaky. But yeah, why did they, why did they skip over him? This, th th I can only imagine how many corners they were trying to cut to get this game out on time. With that, it's finally time for the moment that James has been waiting for the last 45 minutes. It's time to face off against Ganon. And this is how Ganon looks in this game, Seely, as soon as he stops spinning around. What? He just straight, he just straight up looks like uh, Shao the... Uh, not, not even Shao Kahn. Uh, he looks like exactly like those um, bigger demons from Doom. He looks very generic. Say, yeah. He looks like he looked. Yeah, he looks like the Hell Knights or a cack. No, not a cackle demon. Not a cackle demon. Guys. Those are the big. Those are the big eyeball cyclops. Yeah. How many he hits looks, does he, looks he like take? A, uh, like he, he takes like five to six. So again, with the hammer and with how much health I have, and because I already have a guide that tells me where he teleports, because it's it's scripted entirely. He, he's he's a chump, and the game's already gonna be done. So. Uh, Man, just. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that Nintendo would probably have a bit of an issue of their characters put into such a scenario, now I'm just imagining Ganondorf being in Mortal Kombat. And this is totally <laughs> just... This Whee! totally is making... Man, this is the cheapest Mortal Kombat knockoff I've ever seen. And with that, Zelda has triumphed over Ganon. I will give I will give this game this. Compared to a Wand of Gambalon and Faces of Evil, where the final boss is chuck a book or a wand at him once... This actually had a sort of boss battle, and in this one, no, Zelda crushes his face with a hammer. And with that, but the land of Tolomek. Where's that Link? part's still crappy, but y you'll see. D oh, don't worry, you're going to see what Link looks like. Because peace has returned. It actually look doesn't at look how noble bad. he looks. What? He looks like a doof from Are you... Walmart. <laughs> wow. Uh, at least Zelda looked decent, but Link, on the other hand, holy crap. Oh, so the day was saved. saved. Princess Zelda, you've succeeded. Your victory has brought peace and light back to Tolomac. Hooray. Your courage and strength will not be forgotten. Do you have any morals to shove down my throat? The work is done. Off you go. He who drops a watch down toilet will have shitty time. <laughs> What's a watch? Sun sundials, my dear. Sundials. I don't think a sundial can fit a toilet. So with that, that was Zelda's adventure. Well, that was uh, so, very entertaining. Uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna throw that right there. I'm gonna still. Uh, I cannot even talk. My brain has stopped working. So Logan.exe right has now. stopped working. <laughs> yes, there it goes. My brain stopped. <laughs> so. Yes, this game is not at all like I I'm never gonna put I'm never gonna touch this game ever again. I just wanted to be able to say that yes, I did it. I did the thing no one else ever asked me to do. Two so. years worth of searching and more searching and trial and error, and this is what we get for those two years of trial and error. Mm -hmm. I really did try to figure out a way to play this game because I just wanted to be able to say I did because I touched all the other CDI games. But yeah. It 
the music is the music composition is pretty i only say that the music composition sounds more like zelda music than the uh, kind of 80s funk groove beat that the other cdi's zeldas had um <laughs> i mean yeah um, you're right there other than that the texture work was a decent idea but it's not gonna be for everyone and i 100 percent don't think it should be for anyone else really it, the game died in obscurity for a reason um but yeah I know no no more bad Zelda games I can think of that I have to tackle. Uh, James, what did you think of our little journey to Tolomac? Uh, I think Hype fell asleep. Should I get the smelling salts? No, he was uh, asking no. you, not me. I was asking you what you thought of it. Eh, it is what it is. Uh, that's fair. Also, man, uh, I was hoping to, I was hoping to make that joke worthwhile, but and that just sorry. goes to show how fucking nothing this whole thing was. Yeah, we just been kind of tuned out again. Well, we just don't even fucking care. It's like, darn, yeah, I, I like the funnel. <laughs> I mean, there were some funny bits, like I seen how how kind of bland and how like as you just saw at the very end how like lazy the developers became, but otherwise it's not really there. The, the, I, again, I'm, I'm going to be glad to leave this behind us. Celie, did you have any thoughts on this as a Zelda fan? Surprisingly, no, not really. Damn. No one blames you. Also, special thanks to the beings and folk of Tol Tolomac, whoever they and are. Zelda, and Zelda's makeup. And Zelda, who's apparently played by two different people. Huh. Huh, must have had uh, a feeling for something. So what you're saying is the one who the one who was on the, over, the overworld was literally a stunt double. I guess so. It is illegal to make unauthorized. Shh, shh, shh. We, we, we have, no, 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 no. That's okay. It's okay. Thank you, know you Philips CDI. I think we joked about this before, but I feel like the CDI is probably the only instance of Nintendo not caring if you pirate this game because that would require them acknowledging it exists. See, I'm actually, I'm actually astonished that they never bothered like trying to you know, similar what they did with the Mario porn thing. Like that, I'm surprised they what? never thought. In the sense of, hear me out, I'm surprised they never thought of buying the CDI just to bury it for good, so no one would ever see this stuff. <laughs> and the moral of today's story, ladies and gentlemen, is that all this, plus the plus the uprising of the PlayStation, is all Sega's fault. <laughs> yep. For those wondering what I mean by that, go watch Matt Miss McMuscles' What Happened series on the CDI. Can we go really? now? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Till next, everybody. Bye. Boss quite a mouthful.